Welcome to some of the fishiest waters in North America. I'm Terry Gibson, consultant for the Pew Environment Group, avid angler and outdoor writer. Unfortunately, there's a couple things out here that have been taken out of the water faster than they can reproduce themselves. That's called overfishing. We're gonna leave those guys alone today, but there's still plenty, plenty of fun things, tasty things to catch out here. Let's go. My friends and I, together, we have more than 150 years worth of fishing experience. We've seen the consequences of overfishing. We're determined to rebuild the species we helped get in trouble. And we're determined to prevent overfishing as well. We want to fish sustainably. Hi, I'm Walt Stearns, publisher of the online dive magazine, Underwater Journal. I'm both a fisherman as well as a diver, and I've been diving these waters for 35 years. Our region is home to a diverse collection of life, from brilliant corals to hundreds of species of fish. Fish play a critical role in the ocean and many thrive on and around the coral reefs. During my dives, I've seen an alarming trend and what I'm seeing are fewer and smaller fish. We are fishing our reefs too much and managers put off what needed to be done. Now we have better laws that require action, but these actions are only gonna come through if we all pull together, we need to regulate our fishing. For example, we have a good plan in place to save South Atlantic Red Snapper, which had dropped off by almost 90%. We can't fish for it now, but that ban will be lifted eventually and we'll have a bounty for the future. A similar plan seems to be working in the Gulf of Mexico for the Red Snapper. That species is on the road to recovery after scientists and managers figured out the right limits on the catch. What'd you see, Walt? As usual, many of the reef down there we got fewer groupers on them. Not a very encouraging thing on a beautiful day like today. Hi, I'm Mike Newman, and today we're fishing aboard my vessel, the Daikoki. Today what we're doing is we're targeting species that aren't considered overfish. What the federal and state governments have done is they've invoked a closed season when these fish are in our water spawning. That means is it's a no-take zone for both commercial and recreational. We're seeing this a lot. We see it in the Gulf of Mexico. We're having reduced effort on fishing on gag grouper and genuine red staffer. It's something that we're going to have to get used to. Drastically reduced harvest to protect spawning fish. If we do this, we can rebuild the stocks. It'll take several years, but we can finally see a fishery comparable to what I grew up with. That's why it's a good idea to prevent overfishing in the first place. In the South Atlantic and the Gulf, there are plans to set limits now before fish populations get into trouble. That's the right idea, especially for my kids, so that they can enjoy the experience of being on the water, reeling in the big ones, or at least telling the people they did. Hi, I'm Justin Rieger, a young charter boat captain here in the southeast. This here is an amberjack, a common catch, average size about 30, 40 pounds. Used to the average size would be 60 to 80 pounds. Something we don't see anymore because of overfishing. Just like with the sea bass and the red snapper, you know, red snapper world record 50 pounds. Now you have to weave through 20, 25 to throwbacks just to keep one just over the size limit. I'm in this for the long haul and I'm looking for this to be my lifetime career. And it's a you know, real shame to see how this overfishing has, has devastated some areas. One day I'd like to see these rules go into effect to where I can go out and actually put some of these fish in the box for my clients and have a steady population of fish to come back to tomorrow. Fishing's a great sport. There's absolutely nothing we'd rather do than fish. It also brings home a lot of paychecks for a lot of people. That's why we need to think long term. Unfortunately, a few short-sighted anglers and commercial fishermen want to keep fishing on species that are overfished and undergoing overfishing. And they don't want to prevent overfishing. They're a minority. Most of us see the wisdom in long-term sustainable fisheries management. We want to keep big smiles on our faces, and especially big smiles on our kids' faces. Please help us end overfishing and prevent it. For the Pew Environment Group, I'm Terry Gibson.